Hi guys, today we are discussing a new point. It is nothing but the power plant which is based on the solar thermal power plant. Why it is called as a solar thermal power plant? Because here the solar energy is used and which further converts the water into the steam. And this solar energy, when it is converted into the heat energy, that is why for the heat we are using the word called as the thermal. And so observe here. First of all, you uh, just were going through a flow chart that is called the energy flow execution. How energy flow execution is going on? If you observe, the source is a solar energy. As you observe here, this is what the solar energy. This means sunlight are using as a source of solar energy. And this sunlight is used to heat the flowing water. This is the flow of the water and this water get converted into the hot water. And finally, this hot water turns into the steam. And finally, this steam converts into the high temperature and pressure. And this high temperature and the pressure steam rotate the turbine when it is fall on the turbine. This turbine is connected to the generator and when the generator starts rotating, ultimately it creates the electrical energy which are using in our day to day life. It means that the source is what? The source is here solar energy. Which, which is the source? The source is a solar energy. In short, we are using the sunlight. What we are using? If observe here, this is what the sunlight. And finally, this solar energy converts into the electrical energy, which is the last output of this uh, solar thermal power plant. Here, the concentrator, concentrators are used. For, for, for what purpose? This is for collecting the sunlight. And here, this concentrated, see if you observe, this is what at the uh, reflector here also. It is also called at the reflector. This is the part. And this part collect mo more and more sunlight and it is concentrated into the, the like pipes which is used for the flow of the hot water, uh, hot water. And these pipes are nothing but called as the absorber. And this absorber absorbs what the thermal solar energy which is reflected by this reflector also called as the concentrated. And because of this absorption light here the hot water gets converted into the steam. And this steam is finally fall on this steam turbine which in turn fall uh, rotate the generator uh, sorry rotate the turbine and when the turbine get rotated electrical generator also rotated and when the generator rotate inside the generator magnet start rotating and on the basis of the principle of electromagnetic induction here the electrical energy get produced so this is what the energy flow or we can say that the schematic flow chart for the solar thermal power plant this is the first part it is called as the a reflector or also called as the concentrated which concentrate all the solar energy into the single beam and it is absorbed by the absorber and when the water get flow from this absorber the water gets converted into the steam finally this is what the solar panel working of the solar panel is there and finally this is what the internal view and finally the output is looking like this this is what the solar panel basically and when this solar panel using the reflector or it is also called as a concentrated and absorber you got the steam and this steam is converted into the high temperature and pressure by internally using some kind of turbine and finally a main turbine start rotating which having the steam of high temperature and pressure and when the turbine start rotating generator also start or rotate which in turn create the electricity which is further transferred to the this power grid. Now once the steam which having the high temperature pressure it is utilized for rotation of turbine now the pressure and temperature get reduced so you have to convert it again into the water for this reason we are using the condenser and the cooling tower how condenser is converted the steam into the water by just absorbing the heat and this heat will be uh, absorbed by the water which is coming from this cooling tower and this water further move towards the cooling tower after absorb the heat and through this when it will reach once this water get reach 
up to the cooling tower by absorption of heat energy this heat energy will be released and the water vapors which that is called hot vapors are released through the cooling tower and again using this pump where is the pump this pump is utilized to move the same water for the recycling purpose and again this water is used in a solar panel for what purpose to convert into the steam in this way the solar thermal power plants work and the solar energy utilized for the heating of the water converts into the steam and the kinetic energy of the steam is utilized for the rotation of the turbine that is nothing but a kinetic energy in turbine and this kinetic energy in turbine is used for the kinetic energy moving of the generator means generator also using a kind of energy it is called kinetic energy and finally this kinetic energy because of the rotation of the magnet as per the principle of emi that is electromagnetic induction it gets converted into the electrical energy this is what the construction and working of the solar thermal power plant i hope you understand understood this point if you like please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for the new notification thank you